Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com on how to customize, how to add more questions, more fields to the registration uh, page of .NET Nuke. So here we have a test website. This is a DNN 531. Uh, and if I click register, it will bring the standard fields that are asked during the registration process. So those are required fields and you cannot uh, do much about them. But but how can we add more questions? How can we add more fields to the registration? So here's what I'm going to show you. Um, let's log into the site as admin. And go to admin under user accounts. So if you go to the action menu, the triangle, you'll see an option that says user settings. Under user settings, there is an option that needs to be checked, needs to be set to true, which is require a valid profile for registration. So to be able to add more fields, more questions to the registration, you need to set this question as true click update now we're gonna go and add more questions to the registration so go back to the action menu still on the user accounts and go to manage profile properties so DNN comes already with a whole bunch of extra questions of extra fields uh, preset into each and every a new website and, and everything here is set as, as visible true. Let me show you first how the registration page is looking right now. Let's log out, go back to home and click register. So as you can see there are a whole bunch of, uh, of extra fields that are being asked here in our uh, registration page after we set, we set the page uh, to require a valid profile. Now I don't need to ask again for first name, first name, last name, and last name. I don't even know why uh, DNN puts those those extra fields here because again, it's just a duplication of what already exists. So let's do. So the first thing will be let's um, hide all those extra fields, and I just want to to add two new fields to uh, our registration page. So let's hide everything here. Let's go back, log in as admin and let's go back to admin user accounts under the action menu let's go to manage profile properties so very simple here we just have to make all the properties not visible so w with that uh, those proper those uh, extra questions will not be asked at all now how can we add a question a, a few that is not here yet. So uh, let's add two extra fields. One is to ask, uh, just for an example, let's ask the, the, the Twitter uh, user ID of the user. So to add an extra property, we just go to the action menu, triangle, add new profile property. We gonna call it uh, Twitter. And the data type will be just a plain text. Property category. You, we can we can leave it as I would say um, extras. I'll call it just extras. It's just a way that uh, DNN does to to group uh, similar fields. Okay, to either. Now it's right. I can set a default value, which is not the case. Validation, there's no, we're not gonna put any sort of, uh, any any type of validation here. We can set that this field is required or not, and it's visible or not. Uh, just for, our, for the sake of our example, let's make it visible, but not required. So click next. This is the case, uh, in, in case uh, you have multiple languages to the site. In our case, it's just in English, so, Let's just leave as is. 
and click on return to profile property list. So here's our new field. And now if I log out and click register, the new field is here called Twitter, but we still have all the fields below it, which I would assume that uh, we have hidden. Let's, let's go back there. Let's log in again, see what I did wrong. Go back to user accounts under manage profile properties. Okay, everything is still visible. So let's uncheck this, check Twitter, and okay, I have to apply changes and I have forgotten to do that. Let's have a look again. Log out, go back to the registration, and this is what I wanted. We have the basic, standard, and required fields, and we have our new field here, Twitter that we, we we will be asking the new users to fill out. Perfect, so now now this is a way uh, to, to create an extra field. Let's create another field, but this time will be a multiple choice field. Let's say we want to ask for the gender of the uh, user that will be registering, which we're gonna give two options. And again, you can use that scenario to, to create any field that will require multiple options. Let's log in again as admin. Go back to admin, user accounts, pull down menu, men action menu, manage profile properties, and let's create a new profile property called gender. Data type will be a list category. I'm gonna call it extra again, extras. I can set a default value, but again, let's leave this uh, out for now. Let's make it visible and let's click next. Now with next, I need to add the options for this field. So add entry, entry text will be male, value, I can put one here for male. If I want to enable sorting for this field to be sorted by entry text, I'll leave it uh, unchecked for now. Let's save, let's add another entry, mail to, let's click save, all done, mail female, now let's click next and let's click return to profile. So here we have our two new fields, one is a plain text, another one is a list. If I click apply changes, I'll be able to log out. If I click register, see, I have now the option, uh, I'm asking also the option of a uh, gender, male, female. Um, okay, so I have the two extra fields. Now I'm just gonna set Twitter as a required field, let's say. So it will show up with an arrow like that, showing that it's required. I can log back in. Go back to admin, user accounts, back to manage profile properties. I can click on required in the Twitter line. Click apply changes. Now if I log out, go back to the registration page. Now Twitter, the, the new field called Twitter will be required. Okay, so basically this is the way we can add more questions, more fields to the registration page of, uh, of our .NET Look website. Before I go, just a quick fix. Uh, the Twitter field that we have created, I forgot to set the length of the field and I can put that as, I don't know, 25 characters. If I have left as zero, we would have had some, some problems there. Okay, thanks, bye.